Hey guys, welcome to lesson seven. Some of you have already started it, and some of you will use the assistance of this video to help you with it. Um, what we're going to be looking at is, oops, sorry, we're going to be looking at fractions, and we're really trying to uh, identify and represent shaded and non shaded parts of one whole as a fraction. What that means is we're going to be looking at, say, a rectangle like that, and it's cut into three parts. And we're going to start with this part being shaded. So if it was asking what fraction of the pieces are shaded, right here you would put 1 third, because only one piece out of all three is shaded. If the question was what part, what fraction of the pieces are not shaded, we would say 2 because of this one and because of that one. 2 out of 1, 2, 3. 2 out of 3 are not shaded. 1 third would be shaded, 2 thirds would not be shaded. And that's because 2 out of the 3 pieces are shaded. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into the problem set now. So on the problem set we have... I'm not going to do all these, I'm just going to get you started on these. And then jump to the problems on the next page. It says to whisper the fraction of the shape that is shaded. You don't really need to do that. What you do need to do is recognize the part that is shaded and match the shape to the amount that is not shaded. This is the important part, not shaded. So right here, where it says two-thirds, you are not looking for something that is two-thirds shaded. You are looking for something that is two-thirds not shaded. And that is something we need to find down here. If we count pieces, you can see, look at this one, this one has three pieces. One third is shaded and two thirds is not shaded, so this would make sense. Okay, now let's look at this one, six sevenths. Remember, we're looking for that has a piece that has seven pieces. And six sevenths of them are not shaded. So let's see here. Let's come. It says one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's not enough. This one has one, two, three, four, five. Not enough. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is 7, and only 1 7 is shaded, which means 6 7 are not shaded, so we're going to go right there. And for the last one we'll do with you guys, we're looking at one that is 4 fifths not shaded. So it's the opposite of what we have been thinking. We've been saying 4 fifths shaded. Now we're looking for one that's only 4 fifths not shaded, which would mean 1 fifth shaded. Because you have five parts, and if four are shaded, or four are not shaded, one would have to be shaded. So four-fifths not shaded, we can go around and look. How many pieces does this one have? One, two, three, four. So it's not that one. We need one with five. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. I think we found our piece. Four fifths of this one is not shaded, and that's what we're looking for. Four fifths. All right, go ahead and finish the front side up, and then flip on over to the back side. All right, we're going to start here. How many ninths are in one hole? How many ninths are in one hole? So we're going to start over here. We're going to draw a little rectangle. This is our hole. And it's asking us to make ninths. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
six, seven, eight. That's nine pieces. So how many ninths are in one hole? There's one ninth, two ninths, three ninths, four ninths, five ninths, six ninths, seven ninths, eight ninths, nine ninths. So we could put that as nine over nine is one hole. Or we could say nine ninths. And how many twelfths are in one hole? So you could do the same thing. We can cut that in half. That gives us two pieces. There's two, four, six, eight. It's actually ten pieces, and we'll add another one on to make it twelve. Twelve pieces. So this is one hole cut into twelve pieces. There are one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve twelfths. Which we can write as twelve over twelve is one hole. Or twelve twelfths is one hole. All right. We're going to move on down here to the problems just below. Each strip represents... Actually, before we go on to those, I'm going to come back up to these and make sure that it's clear why. If I cut, if I draw a circle or I have a pizza and I cut it into four pieces, there's four pieces and those four pieces, one, two, three, four, make it a whole pizza. If I only have two of those pizzas, do I have a whole pizza? No, I only have those two. I shared it with someone or something happened to it. If I have three of those slices, do I have a whole pizza? Nope, because I need all four slices for the whole. That's why if you have nine pieces, you need all nine for the thing to be whole. Okay, I just wanted to revisit that real quick. Okay, number 10 is says that each strip represents one whole. So each of these strips is one whole. Write a fraction to label as shaded and unshaded parts. So they put the shaded parts here and the unshaded here, but they're all part of the same piece. Same thing all the way down. So how many pieces do we have in this first one? We have one, two, three, four, five. Five pieces. And what of those is shaded? One fifth. One fifth of that strip is shaded. And what percent or what fraction of them is not shaded? One, two, three, four. Remember, we're talking about the same hole, so we're going to put there's five total pieces and four are not shaded. Here's a quick heads up of what's coming up with this because if you put one fifth that is not shaded and add it together with the four fifth, I'm sorry, the one fifth that is shaded together with the four-fifths that is not shaded, you still have five total pieces, but you add one and four together, and you end up with five over five, which equals one. That is one whole. Okay. So let's go ahead and look here at this one. We have, let's count the pieces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. So we know that there are seven total pieces. How many of these are shaded? We'll just be that one. And how many of these are not shaded? It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. 
And again, if you have 1 7th plus 6 7th, that equals 7 over 7. The number of pieces stays the same. You're just adding them up together. And the last one of these kind, we're going to count these pieces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Well, 11. Let me count that again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It is 11. Okay. So we know that there's 11 total pieces. We know that one of them is shaded. You can easily do 11 minus 1 is going to give us 10, and that's going to keep us from having to count that again. And then we can check that by going 1 over 11 plus 10 over 11 equals 11 over 11. And our last one is a short little word problem. It's a nice one to work with. Avanti read one-sixth of her book. What fraction of the book has she not read yet? Okay, so if we just divide the book, so remember with fractions, it's always helpful to draw that picture. So if we draw, cut this, these are going to be the different sections of the book. So we know that we're looking for six pieces here. We'll pretend those are all equal. And we're going to say she has read, because it says right here, she read one-sixth. So one-sixth looks like that. question is how many, what has she not read? What fraction has she not read yet? Say one, two, three, four, five. So I would say there's still six sections, and she has not read five of them. Once she has read all five, plus the one she's already read, that will give her having read all six sections of the six-session book. All right. Good luck on the homework and exit ticket, and we'll see you in lesson eight.